Yo, what up everybody, it's your boy Cardboard to the Moses, alright, about to lead uh, some folks to the promised land, uh, we're going to do a break, a uh, half case, Bowman Hobby number 12, <coughs> excuse me, it is the last of our Bowman, uh, for now anyway, so uh, let's get to it, alright, so let's take this off of that. <clears throat> Still got that tier one filler going. Uh, I realize I need to change the title of this. There we go. And we do need to rain on the Yankees. Uh, before I do that, put the list on the screen. There we go. Uh, only thing we're missing is the Yankees random, so copy the names, put it into the random, slide the random over. <coughs> we do need to roll the die. We don't do ones or twos, so re-roll. I'm going to go 12 times, and as always, good luck everybody. Thank you, Abraham. All right, 12 times. Uh, top name wins the Yankees. Good luck. And the money shot. Good luck, everybody. Boom. 12 times. Doug Eyed. Congrats to Doug Eyed. Winning the Yankees. Now that is uh, half the battle right there. Now we actually got to get a hit with them. Uh, is this the first break that fills in baseball? So far today, yes. Uh, I did a box of T-Mall uh, basketball earlier. And uh, just filled this hobby number 12. Uh, thanks to the beautiful Rip City fam. All right, so still trying to push that tier one number eight filler. I got freaked down for three spots. Need four more. Everyone gets to pick two teams. Uh, the seventh spot will get three teams. All right, the last six boxes. And as always, good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. Come over here. All right, here we go. Uh, let me see something. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, take this down real quick. Made a little bit of a faux pas. Alright, cool. Got that squared. Alrighty. The last of our bowmen. <coughs> Alright, everybody. Good luck if you're in this break. We'll see what we can get. <coughs> A 
make sure I took this out of the store. I did, yes. everybody we'll see what we can uh, get in here a Glenn Allen Hill Jr. 499 D-backs the ESPYs are on right now which I think is kind of funny You think so, Raul? Yeah, you're probably right. A Dominguez Paper Yankees. Probably best to leave that kind of stuff out, out of the room. Shane Baz to four ninety nine Rays. The Atomic Dash Cameron Tigers. With Junior Paper Royals. Autograph, come out to play. <clears throat> there it is. JJ Blade coming out to play for the Marlins. So Marlins with a hit.
A Cromwell Jr. Royal. So that's one box down. Tighten this up a little bit here. Four spots left in that tier one filler. Uh, maybe it'll help if I put the teams in there since I don't have them on the screen like I usually do. So we have Angels, Brewers, Cardinals, D-backs, Dodgers, Giants, Marlins, Mets, Padres, Pirates, Rangers, Rays, the Reds, the Royals, and the White Sox. Boom. <clears throat> Spots one through six get two teams. The seventh spot gets three teams. At a 120 a spot. Filler price should be way more than that. Let's see. What should the filler be at for that tier one? Seven. That filler should be at least one hundred forty-eight dollars a spot, and I'm doing it at one twenty. Dumb discount to get that last case of tier one gone. First autograph was J.J. Blade of the Marlins Vintage. What'd you have for dinner? Little Father's Day dinner? Eight corn and beans. That sounds uh, pretty good for real. Uh, the only way to cook a steak is medium rare. That's the only way.
a Dominguez Yankees uh, refractor insert. A Bobby Wood Jr. Royals Bowman Scout insert. A's autograph Gus Varland. I wonder how a stand-up desk would, would feel. You know, sitting for hours on end, not good. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind a standing desk. That way it'd be a lot funnier when I fall asleep during the break. <laughs> And then I just like fall over. Ever since Pereira Yankees Atomic. I need some water. <clears throat> Ooh, a prime rib sounds amazing right about now. No worries, kids play. We managed to get it filled. All good. Will Wilson, 125 Angels. 
If we can get anything filled uh, while I'm doing this break, uh, I will color the night after this. So, you know, I got that tier one filler, which is down to four. You know, Freak is going ham and cheese on that. We need four other spots to go. There it is in the chat. You, uh, spots one through six get two teams. The seventh spot gets three. I kind of want to pack stack this. But I'm not going to. Uh, I will go get some water, though. High quality H2O. <clears throat> Out of curiosity, anyone watching the, uh, what's it called, the ESPYs? Okay. Kind of get your sports fix there. How was that vintage? Any uh, any any new starlets I should uh, be on the lookout for? Yeah, I'm I'm always looking for new talent. You know what I'm saying? Freaking nature, are you still here? Uh, kids play, I'm surprised you don't know what AVN stands for. That is a surprise. You know, push that filler while I'm getting this break here, man. You, know, you got you got the filler down to to four spots left. Vintage, you saw that in person once. I wouldn't mind going to that one time. Royce Lewis Twins Atomic. I would probably be in heaven. Ooh, a little aggressive, freak. Sheesh. Just a tad aggressive there. Those 1990 Bowman cards are so nice. A Chrome with Junior Royals. Nicola Dolo, 499 Reds.
I'm on box three, halfway there, or well, about halfway there. Let's get that tier one filler going. I got the teams listed there in the chat. Depending on your spot in the draft, you can pick two teams. If you end up with the last spot in the draft, you'll have three teams. For 120 bucks, full case tier one mojo, pretty good deal. Vintage, that would be too crazy. That would be way too crazy. And it would probably be a, a logistical nightmare. You know, they have it, uh, you know, in Chicago and in, in Cleveland makes sense because it's, you know, kind of in the middle of the country. Uh, frankly, I don't know why they do it in Atlantic City. You know, since that's East Coast, you know, it, it does make sense to have it in the, you know, somewhere in the middle of the country. I will say though, a, 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 a national in Vegas would be legendary. Chrome Dominguez Yankees. Yeah, freak hit the hit the copy and paste, man. Boom. Four spots left in the tier one filler. Spots one through six get two teams. The seventh spot gets three teams. You know, it's full case of tier one baseball. Your last Vegas trip, you think you slept for three, four hours? Oh, man, I've been there. Yeah, I remember I went on a cruise, uh, like about a, like a, like a week-long cruise uh, a few years ago. And uh, it was me and uh, one of my best friends rooming together. And for that whole week, we probably got like eight hours of sleep. You know, we probably slept like an hour or two every day. Like, there was just so much to do. And, you know, we weren't trying to miss out on anything. So, dude, we, we barely got any sleep. But that last night, we just we just knocked out. Jericho Linick to 150 for the Mariners. That's nice. Got a Red Sox auto, Jaron Duran with the base auto. There you go, Red Sox. Putting cards in the wrong stack. Curious to see if anything else has gone in the store. Nope.
Oh man, the well, the cruise that I went on. Uh, if I had to put a number on it, I would have to say about sixty percent was people under thirty. Ten percent were like you know children under like fifteen. And then everyone else was like, you know, adults, you know, older than, you know, 40 and 50. At least on, on that cruise that I went on with my boy. Uh, I went on a cruise for my 30th birthday. And that cruise was just, it was fun. Because, you know, I, I had my, my, my best friends with me. Uh, you know, three of my best friends. And, you know, one of their girlfriends came, you know, you know tagged along. You know, so we had, you know we had a good time, but it was it was mostly uh, older people. You know, lots of couples. Uh, you know, there there weren't that many people. Uh, you know, in in my age group, or at least at least I didn't see them anyway. You know, everybody was booed up, so wasn't the. Uh, wasn't the greatest cruise, but I had fun. Never been to Paradise Island. You know, if you've never been on a cruise before, it's 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 a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. But it gets old after a while. I've already been on like four cruises, and I think I'm done with cruises. We got Gus Varland, A's Atomic. Paradise Island, not too far from Miami. I gotta hit the Googles about that one. Might end up going to Vegas this year. You know, it depends on how uh, things pan out with the whole pandemic. Uh, but my, uh, my one of my best friends turns 30 this year. His birthday's in October. You know, he was talking about going to Vegas. So, uh, might do that for his birthday. And then next year, all of my other best friends are turning 30. So it's gonna be it's gonna be nuts. A purple Jacob Amaya two fifty Dodgers. To be 30, the last hurrah. <laughs> well, you know, hopefully, hopefully that's not the case uh, with me and my peeps. Dominguez Yankees Chrome. You know, age is a age is a mindset, bro. You know, I I know I know some 20, 20 year olds that are probably really like fifty year olds at heart. You know, they just do their 9 to 5 and just go home and watch Netflix and, you know, sometimes go out to eat at, like, Denny's or something. Hey, you want to go out? Nah, I'm going to stay in, watch some Netflix, feed my cat. It's like, damn, how old are you? Oh, 24. What? Yeah, I've been, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm living it up, man. My, you know, my twenties. I had a lot of fun. I'm just starting my thirties. You know, I'm in no rush. 
you know, to start a family or anything like that, you know, it's, first of all, you, you need, you need a partner for that. You know, I don't have any prospects, uh, in the, in the old farm system, if you will. So, you know, I'm kind of just doing my thing, living life, having fun. Whatever happens, happens. You know, my main focus right now is to, uh, is to get this, this, this business up and, up and flying. Yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. Dominguez Yankees, uh, insert there, very nice. My boy Vintage got married when you were th when he was thirty six. Dude, Simeon, you're a child. Just sit, just sit down and let the grown people talk. <laughs> we got John Diaz Gold. Nice. Numbered six of fifty. That's a good hit right there. There you go, Schroeder. Very nice. I think that was a filler hit, too. Yeah, the patience paid off on that filler. Very nice. Big hit. Big, big hit. Dude, Sims is like 14 years old, bro. You'll be driving in a... Oh, God, Sims. Just just be quiet. You're making all of us feel bad. Dominguez Yankees paper. Yeah, I remember when I got my first uh, learner's permit. I was like 15. I got my first car when I was 17. Two boxes left. My first car was a 94 uh, Mazda MX-6. Yeah, I drove it to school like one time. So it, it, it was a it was a hunk of junk, bro. It was a it was the true definition of a lemon. The transmission was fucked up. You know, as soon as you started the car, you hear this ungodly rattling. You know the you know the the uh, the, the panels on the doors. Uh, you know wouldn't 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 like close all the way. So sometimes when you open, you know when you tried to open the door, you know the panel would completely fall off the door. You know eventually my windows wouldn't go up. So I had to buy like the little harnesses to fix that. You know, I kept that car for like maybe, maybe like a year and a, no, actually I kept it for about two years. You know, my senior year, I, I, I only drove it to school one time. Uh, you know, it, it, it helped me, you know, it helped me get through college. You know, so that was cool. And then as soon as I got back to Miami, it took a shit on me, so I had to get another car. Oh, dude, that car was a, a walking... And my friends will tell you, bro, my, that first car was a walking death trap. The hood of the car wouldn't close. So sometimes when I would be on the highway, the hood would, like, start to, like, vibrate. And, like, and w at one point, the hood completely, like, lifted up, and I couldn't see anything. And it was the middle of the night, and I was on the highway going like 70 miles an hour. Oh, my God. It scared the shit out of me. Now, I have a 2013 Honda Civic. It's a coupe. All black. 
I just uh, I just finished paying it off uh, not too long ago, so the car is completely mine. You know, all I, I all I have to do is you know take care of her now. You know, make sure all the uh, you know the servicing is done on time. Pay for the insurance, and that's it. But uh, you know, some of the paint is starting to wear off on there. That's what sucks about having a black car in Florida. Is that uh, you know the the paint will wear off very quickly, so I need to uh, I need to repaint the hood, and like the driver's side. You know I'll probably take it to a shop. You know when I get some money saved up, to get a quote, see what it would cost to uh, to just have her looking brand new again. Not for nothing, and I love the car. I love the car to death. She's great on gas, fun to drive. It's not the fastest thing at all, but it's a lot of fun to drive. Logan Davidson, A's uh, Atomic. Yeah, that's what I heard, Ryan. Uh, after after I bought the car, of course, that the uh, the paint on Hondas fade rather quickly. But uh, but yeah, you know the car's mine. You know I plan on keeping it. I've been watching videos on YouTube on like, you know, what I could, you know, what I could upgrade on there. You know, I'm not trying to turn it into a Ferrari or anything like that. A Ruiz to 125 for the Dodgers there. You know, I'm just going to, you know, buy some wheels for me, some 18-inch wheels with the low pro tires. You know, probably buy some springs to, uh, to drop the car a couple inches. You know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe get an exhaust on there so it sounds a little bit meaner. I got to get, you know, got to do the paint job and, you know, fix some minor bumps and bruises that she's got on her. I was thinking about uh, reupholstering the inside of it because I have cloth and I was thinking about getting leather. But then uh, I reconsidered, you know, I do live in Florida and leather seats. Oh my God. So I think I'm going to stick with the cloth seats. Uh, I might, I might get some speakers, you know, change the speakers inside, uh, get some better speakers, get a better uh, sound system in there. Probably get like a touchscreen uh, thing as well. Maybe eventually get like a body kit on there, some ground effects. I need to get new new headlights because the headlights I got now are starting to fog up. And once they fog up, it's over. It's only downhill from there, so I need to get some new ones on that. I'll probably tint the, the tail lights. You know, get some black rims. look clean out here and then eventually buy my Tesla which is uh, something I'm working towards I, I really want a Tesla and uh, an orange auto 23 of 25 for the Padres Joey Cantillo right there yeah, I got that two kids play. I I, I, I got I I've, I've done that before, and it's like polishing a turd. You know, you can only polish a turd so much. Uh, you know, but at, at the end of the day, a turd is a turd. And, and Ryan, I was thinking the same thing, but here's the deal: is that the car is mine. So I was crunching some numbers, and I think all in all, it'll probably cost me like four grand. To do everything I want to do, you know, buy the wheels, the tires, the springs, the paint job, the headlights, the, uh, you know, I also have, uh, I, I could put the, like the little rally lights or whatever, the fog lights on there too. I think all that will probably cost, you know, anywhere from four to five grand. And 
in a brand new car, at least the car that I want, like I said, is a Tesla, which is like a forty, fifty thousand dollar investment. I was looking at this other car, like a, an Acura TLX, because I have a coupe, but I, you know, I kind of want to upgrade to a sedan, but I kind of want a pickup truck too. Like I, uh, you know, it's I, I need me a pickup truck. You know, maybe get a Ford Raptor or something. Sheffield to 150 Mariners. Right there. Oh, uh, dude, Ryan, you know, unfortunately, I don't know shit about cars, bro. So, there's that. All right, last box mojo. Yeah, speaking of salvage, like uh, cars and stuff, there's this dude that I watch on YouTube where he like salvages Teslas, fixes fixes them up. Like the dude, the dude got like a basically he got a Tesla for like fifteen grand. He bought a salvage Model S. You know, the battery was working fine, which is like the most expensive thing on a Tesla. And then what he did was, you know, for the for the body and stuff, he would just like get like other Teslas that were completely destroyed. You know, find the panels and stuff that he needed. And then, you know, he did all, you know, he's a mechanic. So, you know, he didn't have to pay for the labor. He just he would just buy the parts and do it all himself. Um, I forget his name, uh, Ryan. Uh, but it's it's this black dude. Um, and yeah, that's you know that's what he does. He he runs in uh he runs this uh this like a uh, all electric car like shop. Yep, Rich, yep, that's his name. Wow, small world. Yep, Rich Rebuilds is his name. He's an entertaining guy to watch. What sucks, though, is if you get a salvaged Tesla, you're not you're not going to qualify for the, uh, for the supercharging. You know, they eliminated that on all salvaged, uh, salvaged Teslas. Uh, even, even used Teslas aren't able... Uh, to get the supercharging feature. But yeah, that's 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 my goal eventually is to get me a Tesla. You know, I, I do see that as the future. All electric cars. And not for nothing, they look super clean. And they haul ass. Yeah, yeah, they do, Ryan. That's one thing I've learned about watching him. Is the, you know, if, if you try to fix it yourself, they, they do try to dick you around on that. Anyway. Last box mojo. Let's hit that super fractor. And I figured it's you know it's probably also a way for them to get more money. Cause it's like, why would you go to Tesla when you could go to Rich and you know pay a fraction of the price? And maybe even get better service. And so it's, it's probably a way for them to, you know, to not be liable, you know, in case somebody tries to fix a Tesla on their own and, like, it takes a shit on them. 
So you can't like sue Tesla or something like that. Mendoza to any internationals. Elon knows what he's doing. Elon knows what he's doing. Yeah, my car's warranty just expired. So I was I was waiting for that to happen before I started, you know, messing with my car, changing the wheels and and all that other stuff cuz that that would have voided my warranty had I done that while I was still under warranty. But now that it's out of warranty, you know, I'm going to take the hit on anything that happens to it so I can, you know, Start to play with it now. Dominguez Yankees Chrome. And yeah, I've I've always wanted a Honda Civic, like growing up. Like it was that it was just that one car that like I just always looked at like man, that's a really cool looking car. Like I just I just I want one. And now I own one. Which I think is pretty cool. You know, I, she, she's got less than 80,000 miles on it. You know, she's from 2013. She's in great shape. You know, never left me stranded anywhere or anything like that. You know, I, her name is Dahlia. Love that car. But it does get annoying when, like, you know, going out with a group of friends, I can only take, like, two more people with me. Cause it's a coupe can't fit that many people in there and like god forbid i gotta like you know put a load or something in there like you know i uh i used to move around a lot so like all of our cars would be like suvs and i kind of feel like you know i'm at that point now where like i feel like every man needs a pickup truck like, not a SUV, you know, that's for the wife. Every man needs a full cab pickup truck. Like, I feel like I have gotten to that point. I, I've, re I've achieved that level of manhood that it's time to get me a pickup truck. My boy got a, a Ram 4x4, drives like a sports car. I believe it, man. Some of those pickup trucks go. My boy had a Honda Accord Coupe, went to 220,000 miles. Damn, dude, you, you got you got a good bang out of your buck on that one. And those, those are great cars. Honda just makes good product, man. You know, if you take care of them, they'll take care of you. But my all-time favorite car, the Nissan Skyline, which is now the R34. Actually, no, it's, it's the GTR. I think it's like a hundred twenty grand for that car. One day, one day. But today. Adam Hill with the uh, Brewers autograph to finish this off. Another hit for Schroeder. Very nice. Boom, boom. Meaty Clackers, is that for the uh, the Tier 1 filler? Later, Schroeder. Thanks for hanging out. And that is going to do it. A little under two hours. or Sorry, a little under one hour. All right, Clackers down for a spot in that uh, Tier 1 filler, which will put it down to three. Freaking nature, you still here? All right, let's recap. We got Adam Hill Brewers Auto, Jaron Duran Red Sox Auto, uh, Gus Varland A's Auto, JJ Blade Marlins Auto, 
a John Diaz to 50 Rays auto, and a Joy Cantillo to 25 Padres auto. All in all, the case was pretty good. Uh, an orange, a gold auto. There was a yellow, uh, a purple, two refractors in the other half. Not a bad case overall. And that's going to do it. Thank you, everyone. We'll get it up.